Hi, this is Bill from Messick Stove on YouTube and MessickStove.com. Just wanted to go over a little trick with you um, for burning uh, your stove or any wood stove for that matter, if you're burning wood, is to um, keep at least an ash pan full. Okay, let's show you. There's not quite an ash pan full, but I have, um, usually you keep an ash pan full of this uh, the ash, of your wood ash, and save it once you clean your stove out. Just put it back in your stove in the ash, ash pan here and close it up and it'll be fine. And then when you get ready to burn your stove, you're going to take the ash out of your ash pan. It's best to have a second ash pan so you can scoop from one and let it fall back into the other one but to put the ashes back into your stove okay as you can see now you can see there's a hole there it's a, a space between the grates this is the ds stove from uh, ds of course and it's the energy max 160. just want to show you a little tip it's called uh, what that will do if you have a great system or if you don't have a great system is have it, let you have a better controlled fire, especially in a DS stoves or any stove with an ash pan system or grate system. Um, and we'll actually go through the louvers. You can see they're clean from uh, any obstructions. And I'll load my kindling in here and uh, my paper and a few little logs and start her up. And I'll have a good base already to work with, so I don't have to worry about trying to build up an ash base. Now, I don't use the, the plate that DS gives you with the stove. Um, that helps uh, do this. I just put it right on the grates and uh, I'm fine. It's always worked out well for me. So you can use the plate or not use the plate inside the firebox, which is if you're burning coal, you have to remove that plate, steel plate. It usually comes with any of the DS product stoves. So I don't use it, but uh, if you want to, it's uh, your choice. Thank you again. This is Bill from Messick Stove and MessickStove.com.